the world. Welcome back to Keisha's Crumbs, Valentine's Day edition. I know it's been a while, y'all, and I'm telling you now, this video is going to be very raw, as in unedited, because that's what's been holding me up. Can you fix that more the sign? I said I'm going to just make a video, speak very impromptu, and hopefully you're interested in how my video, how my Valentine Day goes. So I'm going to insert some snippets from what I've been doing today and what I've been doing up until today is just a little shopping for myself and for my girls, honey. So I have come in to do a haul. This is from, um, what's this, Walmart. So I'm going to show y'all everything. Mariah, you want to come say hi? Mariah's coming around to say hi. This is my um, tablecloth. So I think I'm going to have dinner with you all. Hi, guys. Crazy. Thanks, Mariah. Um, this is a tablecloth I got from the good Walmart. The good Walmart, honey. I said, I hate to grocery shop in there because you always end up spending. It used to be $100. Now, somehow, it went up to like $200 to $300. Just like today, I went there for a couple of things after I had already done the majority of my shopping and I spent $168. That's a plastic tablecloth that I'm going to eat on, which will be part of this Valentine's Day um, recording. I have these little cute press ons that the girls can use. It's just accent nails. I know they look a little kitty, but some of them are cute as accent nails. Here's Shania. Shania, you want to come say hey? Here's our salad topping, y'all. We put this on all our salad. Hi. Shania, where are you going, girl? Work. <laughs> Show me your ponytail, y'all. Shania, ponytail is really ponying these days. You see it? So now that she's shaking like a pony, her sister has finally decided she's going to get locked up. But Shania is on her way to work. Have a good day, Shania. We're going to do Thanks. our real. Um, Valentine's Day celebration on Saturday. I think that's when I'm grill because I do have food to cook. But these salad toppings, y'all, delicious. If you love crunch and munch on your salad, this has like the imitation bacon bits, fried onions, sunflower seeds, um, dried like herbs, like oregano, parsley, delicious. So we got that. I got some smoked paprika. I love purchasing seasoning through this brand, this um, Fiesta brand. Y'all check this out, in, especially at Walmart, but even if you go into the Mexican marts. Like, shout out to Dame Dash. I saw you, Dame, in the Mexican mart getting all of your goods for your beer to get taco. I wanted to tell you like that. I wish I was there with you. I shop in the Mexican mart all the time because I'm from Louisiana where we have meat markets. You can go in there and get soul food, meat like neck bones, turkey necks, turkey wings. Uh, beef tips, all of that. Outside of the grocery store, you go to the meat market. We're here in Northeast Texas, not so much. So I never forget, I was working at Las Colinas and I asked the people, I was like, where do you go and get the soul food meat? And they told me, you have to go to the Hispanic Mart. So throughout Texas, and especially Northeast Texas, we have a Hispanic market that's called Fiesta. And um, they have everything. I'm talking about from beef trotters, meaning beef feet. If you've never seen beef feet, know that those are sold the same way pig feet are. Chicken feet, I mean, all types of chicken breads. They sell everything. But this is their line of seasoning fiesta. And this is their smoked paprika. It's delicious, y'all. I got some bacon bits. I had a taste for a salad last night. So that's why I picked it up. And then I got this. I just saw this beautiful lemon. This goes to show how packaging really makes a difference. Because y'all see this? This is mackerel. Um, a week or two ago, I had some sardines. Oh my goodness, and they just, it was like I was eating them for the first sardines for the first time. They were so delicious. So I was attracted to this because of that big, beautiful lemon on the front. And this is actually mackerel and olive oil with lemon. It's skinless and boneless. So I think this is about three bucks, but I'm anxious to try it. That's Walmart. I also have some, um, got some blackberries. These blackberries are for um, us as well as, I did get one Valentine's Day order for the weekend. And so for their sweet treats, it's like um, sweet treats for like a couple's night. It's going to be 20 of them in total. So I grabbed some blackberries to add to that. And then I'm going to do some mini peach cobblers for them. So I grabbed these um, Dutch Ann mini pie shells to do their mini peach cobbler. So y'all will see um, the couple's night sweet treat box that I'm doing for those 20 individuals. Y'all will see this. So we got that from Walmart. And then I bought the girls and I took a couple of things for Valentine's Day, y'all. You know, we just all have to know how to love ourselves. It's, it's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I don't have red anywhere in my room, but because red was my favorite color as a child, and really as a young adult, just recently did I um, start choosing other colors. But this was so adorable and shiny in the, um, oh, I didn't even realize it was this type that you love. And it changes scenes, but I just thought this was so adorable, so I had to get it. It looks festive. It has little um, pleather looking feet. Just really adorable. Fluffy tail, fluffy ears. Wait a minute. Okay, so we have this. Let's see here. And then the 
other things I bought from Walmart, also for the girls. Uh, I don't know who's gonna get what, but I had already bought them a bear earlier in the month when they first turned February, and I did my little Valentine's Day decoration, so I decided to get them both a puppy. So here's one of the girls' puppies. Let me see if the other puppies in the car. Because there's an all white one. Okay, so let me show y'all. This is Will. And then I also got them chocolates. So, like, how do y'all feel about Valentine's Day chocolates? I am a nut lover. Like, I'm not really big on sweets, but if I'm gonna eat sweets, I want it to have nuts in it. Whether it's a cake, a pie, or a piece of chocolate candy, I have to have nuts. So, you don't see many candies with nuts these days. Nuts do make it more expensive. But when right, well, you see if the white puppy, I don't see the white puppy. I only have the red sequin puppy dog and this gray one. It's supposed to be an all white one. I hope I get one. Sometimes I pick stuff up and put it down trying to decide what I want and I either believe in something that I want. But I got the turtles, y'all. I didn't see um millionaires. I just thought about that. I was looking for millionaires, but these are turtles. You know, millionaires used to be a staple at Valentine's Day. But I didn't see any of those. So I got the girls chocolate. I didn't get myself any chocolate, but I did get the girls chocolate. I have myself some champagne, honey. This is going to be my chocolate. And then I got them stuffed animals. You don't see it, Mariah? She said she doesn't see it, y'all. So I must have left. I guess I'm going to have to get somebody my, my red one. So now I'm without a stuffed animal or chocolate. But that's okay because I'm going to show you how to Lord bless me. So we have those animals. And then the last things that I got from Walmart were these three dozen roses. I got this multicolored bouquet for myself, and I'm gonna show you um, how I'm going to put those in a container. And then I got these red ones for Mariah because Mariah does love red. So she has all the red roses. And then I got these for Shania. I thought these were beautiful, and one of her favorite colors um, is purple. So this has like a beautiful lavender and the orange and the pale pink. So pretty, so soft and feminine. Okay, now like I said, I had already made arrangements for them earlier in the month, so we still have our balloons. So when I get ready to put these bouquets together, then I put these balloons in. And I hope y'all do these type of things for yourself, ladies. We have to love on ourselves. I know it sounds so cliche, but it's serious, y'all. Like, I realize that now more than ever, that that's what we have to do for ourselves. And not just because, you know, it's like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you just love on yourself in the best way you possibly can? Why wouldn't you do that? I mean, either, even if somebody else is loving you, you should love on yourself because the better you love yourself, the better you can love others. And so you have to be grateful to have life, to be living with breath in your lungs and the ability, the mobility of your limbs and things like that. All of those are reasons to celebrate and rejoice. And you just got to keep it moving. Even if you get up in the morning and you don't feel like moving and shaking, sometimes you just got to get up and get dressed, honey. You just got to. You just gotta get up and get dressed and just find a reason to have some, put on some smell goods and things like that. But let me shift gears. Now we're gonna look at the Ross, um, the Ross bags. We went to Ross, dress for less. Y'all have Ross in the area. We want to get the girls an outfit. This outfit, y'all, and I'm gonna show you, I'll insert a full body shot of it, but I got this from Amazon. I think I was going to a party. I had been invited to a party and I wanted to wear a jumpsuit. This one piece and I just never wore it. So, um, but I'll insert a shot of it here. I'll do a little modeling for you. But I went and picked up the girl or something. So this is a heart-shaped blouse, y'all. It's so like soft and buttery, the material is. And um, you can see it has the tabs on the sleeve, which is a really nice accent for a blouse. It has gold buttons, and then it has pink and black hearts. So this is the blouse I got for Shania. And it's like you could wear it with jeans. That's what I like about it, because you could wear it with jeans, or you could wear it um, with some slacks. I'm trying to see if it has a slit on the side. But y'all, this shirt came from Ross. It was only 12 bucks, $11.99. Isn't that nice? Very, very pretty. It has the um, automatic little V-neck on it. So the seam comes up and then it stops right there. You don't have to worry about buttoning it up. But buttoning it up. Excuse me. You don't have to worry about buttoning it up because it just, it's a pull-over. You pull it over your head. And a full short sleeve. I like this. $12, y'all. And then I got these pants for... Mariah, um, I'll show you her shirt. So look at how beautiful the embroidery is on the cuff of these pants. And see, the important thing, y'all, these are not patches. That is actual embroidery. Real stitching, honey. Real thread. You can see right there. That's why it looks 3D. 
Because sometimes they'll do that and it'll just be patches and that's the reason why it'll be inexpensive. But this is true embroidery. And see, I like that it has this cuff on it, but the cuff is stitched. And there's the embroidery right there. So, these are nice as well. I was wishing they had these in my size, but they didn't. Isn't that pretty? I just love flowers. You know, some... Sometimes I don't like flowers. I think just like this is a floral print, but it just depends on the colors and how the print is laid out, how the design is laid out. Um, that determines whether it looks matronly or not. I think this looks very high fashion. The fact that it has the contrasting colors, the not just regular red, but like the coral red with the mustard gold. It looks good. And then that being embroidered with a high contrast. It looks good as well. I got these pants for Shania. The garage dress for this is just the place for the plus size girls when they just want to buy for less. You know, today is Valentine's Day, and I treated myself and the girls to a little shopping spree. These were just fifteen dollars. I would guess I probably spent um, a little under four hundred between uh, all three stores. I went to Ross, I went to Walmart, and I went to this place called Fresh. I'll show you what I got from there. But I'm doing this job because I used to shop like this all the time. Now I'm just doing it for what's considered a special occasion. And then I wanted myself some shorts, so these are what I got. I don't like short shorts. I don't mind my knees showing, but I don't like like shorts that stop in my hip. I like to be a little more concealed. So these are actually, they are labeled as Bermuda. But by the time I put them on, because of the size I got them in, they'll be fitted, pull them up on your boobs. And, um, okay, I just put this same top back on. Since I had it out, but these are these shorts. You can see the two buttons have on my tank top. You can see the two buttons. They're a lot of room, a lot of stretch, which is the way we like it, honey. So, this is like, even though it's fitted, it's still very comfortable. And this is what I like to do. I love to take a button up shirt and tie it up. And, like I told y'all, these were labeled Bermudas, but um, I figured they would come like right to the knee. Back in the day, a Bermuda was something that would come over the knee, aka knee knockers. But these, um, or right at the knee, which is why I like my shorts. Because, you know, when you walk, they rise up a bit anyway, or you have to keep pulling them up on your waist. Of course, I don't have them on a belt right now, but the point is when they are just maybe a fourth to a half of an inch longer than exactly where you like them to hit, it's perfect because as you walk in them throughout the day and you wear them throughout the day, you don't have to worry about them rising um, inappropriately to a place where you don't feel uncomfortable. So... These are it, y'all. Forget how much they were, but y'all yeah, remember, I put it on the screen. I'll put all the prices back on the screen if I remember. Um, so yeah, I love them. Woo. Now let's just pray that this haul today does not send me back into a shopping frenzy because I don't need to shop and I don't need to be leaving the house a lot. Cause. Honey, when I leave the house, I need to be gone, gone. Not just running the streets, wasting money. But yes, these are the Bermudas. From Rock Streets for this. So let's do the I want to have something with a bit of an African looking print. So this is a beautiful, look at it. Beautiful indigo blue with a fiery carrot looking orange. And then look how the sleeves are made. It has like a I always want to say bouffant, but bouffant refers to a hairstyle. But see how it's, it has like those puffy, ruffly layers, like puffed ruffles. That's the sleeve. Love that. And then it is made with a high-low design. It's a bit higher in the front and lower in the back. So I love this because you can wear it as a dress with some opaque tights. Um, you can wear it with stockings to church and some heels. Um, even if you're feeling free and fancy now, you can wear it as just a dress by itself. But I would at least put biker shorts under it because of the material is a bit thin. But y'all, this was only 14 no, this was $19.99. So something that is so versatile in terms of where you can wear it and how you can wear it, I love it. I'll lower the camera just a little bit. But this came from Ross, y'all. And then let me show you. I also got this one, ladies. I got this one. Oh, is this not gorgeous, Peacock? I'm going to try it on for y'all just to make sure that the video gets its due watch time, honey. I'm going to try it on and show it to y'all. I'll insert pictures of myself modeling each of these items so that you can actually see how it wears. And if there's a Ross dress for this in your area, you should go check it out. Trace, it is beautiful. So it has a um, 
high low hemline just like the other one but this one is a straight sleeve all right y'all here is the first dress from Ross dress for less that I told y'all about happy Valentine's Day to you again honey this dress is fabulous in front of the mirror so you can see it from all sides. I have on these little cute rampage sandals with the funky spikes to mimic the funkiness of the pattern. You can see how dramatic the high-low is. Like I said, the dress is a little thin. So if I were to wear it with nothing under it like it is now, but outside, I would definitely put on some biker shorts. Otherwise, you could do opaque tights. You could really dress this up with some rhinestones or like big gold chunky jewelry, a big chunky necklace, big chunky bangles, and uh, some form of a gladiator sandal either, even to come with the ankle. Baby, baby. And then it's got pockets right here. Beautiful for vacation. Of course, it's super comfortable, and even though it is full and the cut is still bigger, flattering. That's what I was telling you all about. Enough room in the arms, plenty of room in the bust. You can starch up this collar and turn it up a bit. That's how I did for the formal event. This material is a little softer, it's not as stiff as, stiff as the other one. But you can see this is, and this is back. Oh yes, oh yes. Still close up. Love going to date in this piece, honey. Take me on a date, baby. Yeah, take me away. Take me away from here. Get me out of here. Got that one. I think this one may be a little less expensive. This may be this one was $17.99, the one with the ruffle sleeves. And then I just may, I just may be going somewhere on Saturday still to celebrate Valentine's Day. We shall see. I will let y'all know. Um, but I got this skirt. Because they had them look at them, and it's long. It's not the short one, so you have the chiffon overlay. And I love this color. It is a true ruby, garnet red. See the difference in the red on my jumpsuit versus this? This is a true garnet, beautiful red. And um, I just love it. I really want to find me a cute Valentine's Day t-shirt to wear with it, or like a crop three-quarter length Sweatshirt would be cute. It's only 12. All right, y'all. Are y'all ready for this look? Now, first of all, it's crazy. This jacket came from Ashley Stewart. And I have had it for at least two years. Because I remember I was still staying in Fort Worth when I bought this. I've had this for at least two years. But when I went in my closet to look for something to put on with this skirt, I just went to this jacket and I love the look of it. It does make me look a little larger because of how the jacket is cut plus the skirt, but I still love it. So let me just show y'all. I put on a red tank top and this is it with this beautiful garnet red tulle skirt. Y'all, this one is just as long. I don't have any shoes on now. And it goes down to the floor. And even though it doesn't have any ruffles, this tool is just as soft to the touch. It's not itchy. And one difference with this one is that the, the underskirt or the liner, the lining does go down to the floor as well. It's, a full, it's fully lined, fully length lined. 
And like I told y'all, normally with this type of skirt, I would put on something like a t-shirt, like something more, definitely more casual, even leaning to rugged, you know, or um, something that's more of a male cut. I just like the contrast of something rugged looking or something a bit masculine looking, tailored looking, I should say, up against something that is so feminine and flirty. I just think it just draws, like it's like, it's very eye catching. And so this is what I put with it. This nice leather jacket, but you can do it with denim, a denim jacket, um, just like with the other pink skirt. You could put a button up, but see how this has like a peplum bottom. This jacket doesn't even close and it's really, I was larger when I bought it, so it's really a little too big. See how it goes over, um, it's about two sizes larger than what I wear now. But, um, just have to pull it together and cinch it in really tight. And I love the skirt, y'all. If I'm not mis mistaken, both skirts were $12.99, 13 bucks. I love the red. I mean, you don't even see red like this hardly anymore. It is truly garnet. It's truly garnet red. So I love that. dress for less and I love these type of pieces also because you can wear them throughout different seasons if it's cold you put on some tights or some thermals underneath and then even in the in the hottest part of the summer because this is such a soft tool and the lining is so like just it's, it's not too tight it's somewhat loose it has stretch even the lining so you don't have to worry about it sticking to you. And I just think it's fabulous. What do y'all think? Oh, oh my goodness, y'all. It eats. I need to show it to y'all in this mirror. I think this is a gorgeous look. <laughs> Tell me, I be a beautiful plus size woman walking around with this on? <laughs> Tell me heads wouldn't turn. Not that I aim to turn heads, but that's just what tends to happen. Y'all, this is just, it's just a look. look Why I can't stop looking at it? Twelve ninety nine, y'all. And then here's yet another one of the high-low shirts, y'all, in the green. Now, if you saw the post I made the other day um, with myself in the black and my cousin's party, that black dress I had on, y'all, is actually this dress. And I was so, even though I tried to dress on at Ross, I was so impressed. And I could tell it was already, like, fitted in the waist because normally I would have to take it and get it, you know, kind of tapered at the waist so it won't look boxy. You can actually see the silhouette of my shape. But I was so surprised at how the 2X fit me perfectly. They had the 3X. I didn't have to go up to the 3X. So this dress has a lot of shape to it. You can't tell when you hold it up. The black dress I had on was this dress in all black. 
$21.99, literally. And so the green one was there when I initially went, but just trying to develop some new habits and not pick up things I don't need. I went in there specifically to look for something to wear in all black because the black that I ordered came back and it looked like trash. So I went in there specifically for a black dress, found this dress in all black, and that's what I left with. But I've been thinking about this green one ever since. I did forget that it had this print, but this is beautiful for black history. But then it is not, it doesn't just scream black history. So it could be worn at any point, any occasion. I could dress this up formally just as easily as I did the black one. You have the rhinestone buttons. Baby, I could just be the queen I am out in these community streets doing just my everyday due diligence. Beautiful. And so what I was telling you about the cut, y'all, look how beautiful this dress is already cut. It has a to die for silhouette. This is the type of cut that I would normally pay. Go to the seamstress and have it altered where I still have plenty of room in my bosom and my arm. But to get that silhouette, y'all, the dress is already cut like that. Beautiful. And that's what I was so surprised by when I first bought it. I have plenty of room. Probably could wear the 1X. Um, they didn't have a 1X. But I probably could wear a 1X. But this one is perfectly comfortable. And the reason why it is, I feel like this is a perfect fit, is because I have plenty of room. But it shows my silhouette. I don't need it to hug me. You know, it shows my silhouette just fine. The pockets. Baby, this has pockets. I'm literally going to look and see who this dress is by. Because with this being made the way, it kind of reminds me of something that will come from Shein. They take a simple, inexpensive material and just cut it and fabricate it in a way that is a unique, eye-catching design. It's kind of thin, so it's not really heavy, heavy weight. But that's where you get your, um, you know, that's how they can make it and price it so economical. And so I don't know if you can see yet, but I have on black pumps. It doesn't look like you can see it. Let me see phone because it's a little loose. But you can see the black pumps, okay? So, y'all, I can style this so many ways. I started to, but I just want to show you the dress. Yeah, I have never carried this purse before because I bought it from Macy's. And I think, I think they left the... Um, I thought they had left the, the um, maybe my son got it off for me when he last visited. Because I thought they left the, um, the thing on here. What am I trying to say? The sensor. I thought the sensor was left on here. But look how perfect. Because there's black in this plastic chain handle. That's the canvas strap. Stick that back in there, honey. Again, I'm just showing this dress. So I just put on my black basic pump to show you that I could wear this dress with this bag and be just as classy as ever. Or I could really funk it up with those green sock boots and put on a, a black opaque stocking if I wanted to. Isn't she cute? $21, honey. Oh, yes. But this is the same dress. I told my mom, I said, Mom, the dress came in green. I have to go back and get the green one um, since it was so inexpensive. I mean, I wore that to a formal cocktail party. See how it has the rind? That's not silver. That's actually rhinestone buttons. And then you have this beautiful... African looking print and it's actually in a metallic paint things out. I didn't you know I emailed them to let them know I was disappointed They didn't even bother to respond which was really really surprising to me 
But it let me know I can't do business with them again because that's another thing. Today is the day of love. And you got to even love on people in business, y'all. You can't, you know, just treat people any sort of way because you feel like you have this hot commodity or this golden gift that you give to people for a certain price and think that you don't have any obligation to service after the sale. And that is so upsetting to me because I know in my business, I always go out of my way to accommodate people when they think they've been slighted or, you know, something wasn't the way they expected, which they rarely ever happens, thank God. But you can best believe any and every time it does, I'm going to compensate some way, shape, or form because I don't want a person to do business with me, go out of my way when they have thousands, tens of thousands of other people and places to choose from. And then when they do business with me, I leave them feeling like they have been disserviced or they've been shorted. I can understand for the life of me how people just carry on. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care if you have a six or seven, oh, you've scaled your business to a six or seven figure business. The only way I can go to sleep at night is knowing that, you know, especially if somebody goes out of their way to email me. Because people rarely do that. And I emailed that lady about those two dresses that I bought for my girls. And they did not respond. So I won't be doing business with them anymore. And this just goes to show. You can go to places like Ross Dress for Less. Because your girl is a bargain shopper. You know, I pay for what I want. But if I want a bargain, I know where to go to get a bargain. Look how beautiful this is. Look at this pink. Almost like an antique rose powdery but not like baby doll pink it actually has like it it looks it looks antique to me you know what i'm saying it looks like a rose that a more mature woman would wear and so this one has the actual wavy very loose wavy ruffles to it look at the length on it the hem on it doesn't really have a hem but the way it's cut at the bottom this is beautiful it's lined beautiful you see that? And I paid $12.99. All right, y'all. We are back, y'all. Look at this skirt. Oh, my goodness. It's even more gorgeous than I imagined. The femininity on this, y'all. And I just happened to have this shirt. I think this shirt came from Ross too. Like, seriously. Honestly. It has the same light, like maroon. Light, light fuchsia color in it. Matches this skirt perfectly. Because I would want to wear this skirt high-waisted. Um, right under my breast line. And um, so I figured the best thing to contrast with the femininity and flirtiness and softness of the skirt is to just put on a button shirt that you can tie the knot and cinch it tight under the breast. And oh my goodness. I mean, some of us like to accentuate our bottom half. And if that's the case, you can put on a very dark shirt, something with a lot of black, and let this just really stand out. I think this is perfect because it has enough of the color to um, complement the skirt, but still offer a contrast in that there is a pattern here as well as multi-color. Y'all look at the ruffle on this thing, y'all. What was it? $13, literally $12.99 Ross Dress for Less. Oh my goodness. Y'all, God has been with me today. I told y'all that I was supposed to be in jury duty and it got canceled, right? So, you know, they say God is a jealous guy and he has a sense of humor. I believe that because for me to not find out until last night that I didn't have to go to jury duty, I just pressed on, I got up, dressed up, put on some makeup, did my hair, and went out and did a little inexpensive bargain shopping not only for myself but also for my girls and y'all i never expected to find this the only reason i really went to ross was to pick up the black dress that i wore to pick it up in the green and this skirt was not even there 
the last time I was there. So I just think this is gorgeous. Ooh. If I go on a date, honey, I may have to wear this skirt because it is loose fitting. Still a lot of coverage. Still showing the feminine silhouette. Cinched at the waist. I mean, you can't get any better than this comfort. And it feels so good. It feels so good, y'all. It's lined all the way down to the knees. See, sometimes you can find these skirts and they may just be lined to your upper thigh. But this is lined all the way down here. So it offers maximum comfort, not only in the feel, but in the confidence when you're wearing it because you know that um, it's not too revealing. Baby, this, this was a knock out of the park. Somewhere to go, honey. And I bought these for Shania to go with her pink blouse. Look how pretty those are. gorgeous these were only seven bucks 6.99 you know you want to support the cause but you you have to give people their their money's worth now that's not to say you know sometimes people don't understand you know what's worthwhile some people may feel like my you know my some things in my business that i offer and sell is overpriced but i could assure you if they think it's overpriced they don't understand the amount of work that goes into it I can assure you, they don't know what the ingredients cost uh, and or they don't understand the amount of work that goes into it. And a lot of times, that's the case. People don't know the industry. Some people only, you know, buy food from other companies or other individuals. They don't, they don't grocery shop. I have a friend who doesn't grocery shop at all, and I never realized it until she said it. I just, in my mind, there's no way people don't ever grocery shop. In my mind, I thought that, like, I wouldn't even think that that's possible. But some people never grocery shop. They are completely unfamiliar when it comes to groceries. And, I, you know, and people should just know that if it's, if it's something that you're unfamiliar with, there's no way you can determine what's accurate pricing. Whether the person is overpriced or underpriced, you can't determine if you aren't familiar with that industry. So anyway, y'all, that is Ross. I am so excited about what I got from Ross. And then I went to Fresh. Fresh is a grocery store that we have. I think y'all hear me talk about it where I got like those oysters that I shook myself and all that. They have people making strawberries on the spot. Strawberries have really gone up, y'all. Like, I don't know if I told y'all, but I was scheduled to go to jury duty. I was supposed to be in jury duty today. And they sent me the postcard like almost a month ago. And so I, I didn't mark it. I didn't mark it for Valentine's Day sales. I didn't make plans for Valentine's Day because I was supposed to be in court today. And I, my thing was, I just knew I was going to be in court today. But then I was like, oh my God, I hope it's a case that will only last one day and won't go on and on and on. Girl, they ended up telling me last night, like seriously, it was literally late evening. And well after 6, I want to say 7 o'clock, they sent me a message telling me that I didn't have to report to court. So that's another reason. I'm grateful for that. You know, I don't have everything I want, but I am grateful for everything I do have for sure. And so um, that's why I went out and did a little shopping. Now, this bouquet came from Fresh. Look how beautiful it is, y'all. Look at these yellow flowers. When I picked it up, I thought it was $17.99, which really did seem unbelievable. But that's the price that was closest to it on the stand. When I got to the cash register, these were $38. It was $37.99. And I said, oh, my goodness. You know, I just told her. I said, I thought they were $17.99. She was like, oh, really? You know, normally they would be like, well, should I check? I was going to tell her, no, don't worry about it. You know, I already had rose, plain roses. But she was like, okay, so they must be on sale then. And she she actually said that. She voluntarily said they must be on sale then. 
and she wasn't able to do the markdown. She actually stopped what she was doing, went out of her way, and got somebody who was able to do the key turn and had them mark these flowers down to $17.99. I thank God. So beautiful. So we're going to continue on with this video, y'all. I'm so excited because I really want to sit down and have my little Valentine's Day dinner with y'all, or lunch, I should say. I'm not going to tell you what it is, and we're going to chat some more. So give me a moment, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I, I didn't get to show y'all Mariah's shirt. It was still stuck down in the bag. Look how cute this is with the offset heart over to the side. Baby, that is bad, and it's actually open. So cute. So this is Mariah's shirt to go with her embroidered pants. I think that is darling. $9.99. Oh, now you want one. No, I just want my Mickey bag. But it's flat. She don't need a, she so I don't, don't want it. She don't need a five foot bear. I think she told the child to get her five foot bear last year. A five foot what? Bear last year. Yeah. That's your one last. Smells delicious. We're on the last bouquet. This is the beautiful bouquet. Now, this is so gorgeous. All I really have to do is put it in the vase. These are the two for the girls that I have completed. Right there, Alexa. Pause. Just really, really sad. I just told my girls, I said, this just, you know, nothing is safe anymore. You had the incident with Lake the Church, the mass destruction there and now the mass destruction that has taken place at this parade where people are just coming together in the spirit of celebration but y'all more importantly we see these things happen god bless today we see these things happen y'all but what i always think about is yes we're not there yes we escaped it we weren't you know around when this took place but it just goes to show the mentality of the people that we are walking amongst every day so like I said last night, I was praying and I said, you know, thought about Lakewood Church and I said, but that's the thing, we walk out our own front door and you never know that level of destruction could be outside your own front door. That's why it's so important for me to have my heart right, for me to stay in constant fellowship with God, asking him to please, because I'm just a mortal woman, I'm just a mortal body, sinful as I can be. And so my prayer is that God always leads me the right way, the way that he would have me to go. As long as we tell him that we want his counsel and we want his direction in our lives, then he will He will definitely lead us. And, you know, it's crazy. We think about these things happening and it's happening, you know, on TV as far as we're concerned. That's television, but y'all, this same amount of destruction could be right outside your door. That's somebody's neighbor. That is someone's neighbor who bang banged the Lakewood Church. That's somebody, somebody's neighbor's According to the report, allegedly, according to the news reports, it was more than one person with automatics. Not just one pool, you know what I'm saying, and that's it. Not just pow, but it was automatics. That's why so many people were injured. And the thing to remember, we got to stay prayed up. The young people, the old people, you know, they, they're praying. So it's our age, our generation, our children, and our children's children. We got to, everybody got to pray. Because that same level of destruction, baby, is right outside our doors. And that's that's what I have come to realize. Though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I fear no evil. Because it's there. The evil is there. Because the moment, the moment you tell yourself that it's not, you'll find out one way or another. And it's so sad. So my heart goes out to, you know, not only the families of the people who have lost their loved ones, but my heart also goes out. To those who were just there to celebrate in attendance, you know, they, they're in attendance to celebrate, and that has to be super traumatic. That's why I'm, you know, I'm a Louisiana native. I've never been to Mardi Gras. You know, I have been to New Orleans, but I've never been to Mardi Gras. Just, you know, but think, like, like I just said, it can happen anywhere. 
But I try to stay out the way. I try to stay out of the way. And um, this just said not to compare. So that as we travel, no hurt, harm, or danger will come our way. We have to pray. And yes, I, I do believe that our, our day is already um, documented, you know, in the good book. But I also know that um, and, and I believe that God wants us to fellowship with him. He wants us to proclaim him as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, when we do that, there's, there's going to be a great benefit to that. Because he, he's the only one who has the power. He's the only one who has the power to, uh, you know, put our lights out. Just like you know, extinguishing the candle. He has the power. He has the power to make that happen. He has the power to command it. And I know a lot of people in this world, what seems to us is prematurely, but you never know. You never know. And, you know, at the end of the day, I don't question God. I know that he's in control. And so that's, that's who I talk to. That's who I plead to. That's who I ask for forgiveness. And that's who I ask to lead the way. That's who I ask to shape and mold me. That's who I ask to give me favor and put the right, you know, the right people, good people in my path. People who want, you know, the, my, who have my best interest at heart. My best interest, my children's best interest. Y'all, so we live in an evil world and in an evil time. So, you know, something as simple as me is Valentine's Day. People are out on their dates, and I keep stressing it because, like I said, I have friends, I have family, and even my I myself have been at a point in my life where I always wonder why me, you know, why can't it be me, this and that. And it's like now I'm so far removed from that, I can't even believe I felt that way. But you have to go through something in order to really understand what it's like to be in that position. People wish to be married. And then when you get married, you, you come to understand that, you know, this hard work. And unless you're with the right person, you know, it, it may not last. And even if it does last, it may be a fighting battle every day. And when you get older, you know that peace is the priority. And you know that peace is a blessing and an inheritance that we were given with life. When God gave us life, he gave us the right to peace. So if you choose to enter into something, any type of relationship, friendship, relationship, uh, you know, any type of ship, if you, you if you choose to enter into it and it doesn't bring you peace, that's something that you chose for yourself because peace, you inherited the right to peace when you were blessed with life. And so now, you know, in retrospect, that's what I focus on and I know that I'm truly blessed to have peace in my life. And I'm sitting here on Valentine's Day putting these flowers together on this camera praying to God that it brings peace and happiness and a smile to someone's face who's watching. I pray it brings you peace. And then, you know, to learn of all this mass destruction that is going on when people are celebrating a game, celebrating something that was meant to be, you know, um, joyous, something that brings smiles to people's faces. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes in sports, but whatever it is, you know, I know it's a, a probably a, a billion dollar business if not more but whatever it is I do not I don't think for a minute that um, it warranted someone to go out with the intent to do mass destruction and end people's lives and then injure injure others it was more than one person reported and they, they say they rest assuredly at this point because they've already d discovered or recovered some of the weapons. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, y'all. We have to pray. We have to pray. But I want to show you this. Look how beautiful this is. Now, see something like this. This could have easily been a $60, $70, $80 bouquet because they took the time out. You know, it's so colorful. You have a wide range of assorted flowers. And then they actually took the time out to paint this. This is a fresh flower that has been painted. This is a stick. So it's not on an actual stem of the plant. It is on a stick. And this is gorgeous. This is what really attracted me to. Gorgeous, y'all. It's been painted. You can still smell. Mm. I don't know. I have no idea what kind of flower this is. I have to look it up, but it almost looks like it's some form of a succulent. A big succulent because of how green it is underneath the paint. And I might have to get my pliers. I like my plants somewhat low profile. I may have to get my pliers to make that shorter. We'll just have to see. 
But yeah, that's another reason why I came on today and I am posting this video. I'm posting it. I'm not editing it. I'll edit it enough to put clips in certain orders, but that's it. So I pray. I pray right now, Jesus of Nazareth's name, that this this Valentine's Day video just, you know, spend the day with me. Cause I had to come and do it with you. My Keisha's Chrome Scrub.